Hello everyone, welcome again. And this tutorial, I'm going to continue the spec flow series, spec flow tutorial series. And in the last video, you have seen like how can we install the spec flow in the Visual Studio, and how can you run your first test case. And so let's understand like if you're gonna uh, if you are able to uh, install all the things properly. Now let's understand what the key points and what is a spec flow actually, and what is the scenario and these background things and what is the terms that we are mostly use in the spec flow so if i switch to codec i uh, will provide the link in the description box so you can check the complete article here also so as a definition says spec flow is a behavior data driven automation framework and simple word it's a spec flow as a cucumber of dot net so what are the important terms used in the spec flow the first thing like scenario step definitions features and the scenario outlines so what is the scenario so scenario is like a test case you can say <coughs> a scenario is a collection of test step to perform an activity for example login activity so if i'm going to perform a login application so what will be a, i'm going to perform a test case uh, to uh, login as an admin or login in the application so what will be my scenario so it's, it's it will be like given I'm navigate to the login page and I enter the username and password when I click to the login button then I can see admin is able to log in so exactly if I switch to my <coughs> visual studio and check my feature file this is the my feature file so this is my scenario one and the scenario two so what it says like a single file have multiple scenarios so this is my complete scenario it is a collection of steps you can see in simple language it's a collection of simple it is a collection of steps <coughs> so the second point second term is scenario outline scenario outlines so what are the scenario outlines so scenario outlines in case you need to perform uh, automation on the things where you need to uh, spend like uh, send a multiple values for the step like if you're gonna use login example and you wanna log in with a different different users like for the every execution the new user will be enter there so we have to use the scenario outlines so you can read the text here we need to write a test scenario where we need to execute the same steps multiple times with, with a different data in its execution so this is the my for, format of the scenario outline under the example section we need to pass a parameter like username and the password and here will be my different different data parameter so let's understand with an example same as a login in the application and you can see in the blog code <coughs> observe example section that has two columns or variable name the username and the password here it is and to call this variable we'll use the syntax you can see here in the example and observe the line and I enter the username and password this scenario will execute four times so uh, how uh, it will get the like how, how many times it should be execute so this depends on the number of rows so let's copy this and just switch to here to the visual studio and you can see the example here so scenario outline says <coughs> this scenario this this test case will execute the first time and it will take the username password as a sd at the gmail.com and pass it the rate one two three over there and when i click to login button uh, and it will execute the first time then the second execution it will uh, enter the username like this and the password like this and the third time the fourth time the fifth time so uh, in that particular tutorial like we'll see how can we use this thing practically uh, that will uh, will record a separate video over the for the scenario outline over there in this i'm going to just introduction about the spec flow and the term we are going to use in the spec flow so the third thing over here the main thing is step definition what are the step definition so step definition like the backend things how this step will work and like let me show you like uh, like i have this step given i have navigate to uh, given i navigate to the login page so how this 
this line will execute how the controller know what this line will ex perform so uh, I have to write the step definition just so I have to write the step definition you can check the home page step definition these are the steps so how can I write this it's a not difficult task just right click on this and click on the go to definition it will automatically generate the step definition for you so when you when at the moment when you click on the yes it will copy the steps to you and you can copy paste the step i just press the control v so this is step so whatever the action we need to perform when user click on this navigate to the login page we can write here okay <coughs> so so this is the example for the step definition so it's just a uh, uh, task is to just a source code that we that going to execute when this line will execute so we have to write the code here and the next thing is feature file so what is the feature file so nothing is a feature file is a collection of the scenario you can say the feature file that contains the scenario of the requirement a feature file can contain multiple scenario it depends on the requirement or the module Kerkin language will use to write the scenario in the feature file so uh, you can see this is the example of the feature file it contains multiple scenarios or scenario outlines so to this file is called feature file you can see the see the uh, extension also home dot feature here it is you can see I uh, will show you how can you create the feature file so if you want to create a new project so right click over the project and go to add and on a new item and search here for the spec flow select the spec flow and here it is the spec flow feature file so just enter the name for example test so here we have another feature file which is called the test feature file so this is the feature file which contain all the data like here is the steps also available so go to definition generate a step definition how can you generate a step definition and like this is the example of the step definition so this is it about the spec flow hope you understand and you are familiar with this, this terms feature uh, file step definition scenario actually in the coming sessions we are going to use this uh, terminologies when we are going to perform the practical operation over there so uh, the very next tutorial will discuss tables and the scenario uh, context and the scenario outlines as well so thank you so much for watching